The materials in your phone are likely mined by children in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Children, often victims of trafficking, are some of thousands of people forced to mine cobalt in the DRC. They're called artisanal miners, aka freelance workers, and there is little to no difference between the cobalt farmed by a machine and that farmed by humans enslaved by a business. Siddharth Kara, a Harvard fellow who researches modern-day slavery, described the conditions as slave-like. He told NPR the work is dangerous, with people making just a few dollars a day, often falling victim to serious, life-threatening injuries or death. Not only that, but cobalt is an extremely dangerous metal to breathe in. The DRC has more cobalt reserves than the rest of the world, but thanks to the country's little resources and the fact that it's been nearly overtaken by the cobalt mining industry, extracting the dangerous metal has become one of the only ways the people of the DRC can make money. Cobalt is found in various types of technology, like lithium-ion batteries, which begs the question, is the new iPhone worth it if it risks the health and well-being of people, especially children, in the DRC?